I just had nothing except people going, we don't think we own it. So the way I beat that finally was I knew that how it started at Hal Roach Studios. So I, I took a point where a chain of title follows the purchaser of the chain. I went and recreated the chain of title by talking to each of the sellers at each point in the chain. And that took 18 months. And I finally recreated the chain of title and I literally put a ribbon on it and sent it to the legal department with a, a dozen roses. That didn't get a reaction. So then I write a letter to Peter Chernin, the, the head of, of Fox, and saying, we've never met each other, you don't know me, you probably may not even return this letter, but I understood that you're in business. And I think the people who are in business like to make money. I have wrapped up a deal with a bow on it that works. Nobody at your company wants to make money with me. What gives, Peter? I put a stamp on it and mailed it on one day, and it wasn't seven days that pass. I get a phone call from Stephen Birch, the head of home video. And he says, Peter Chernin just gave me this letter that you wrote and said that I had to call you. Why is it that we're talking right now? And I told him the whole saga and the whole story. And I found out that he, he actually had a great relationship with Rob Keneally, who made the original introduction. And so he, he lit a spark that got the legal team to actually address my issues. They then hired Stephen Pena, who was, uh, used to be general counsel of the company and got into private practice. He reviewed my whole chain of title that I had created, uh, then sent in a bill for a large sum of money and approved everything. <laughs> and then we were off to the races finally.